You also you know say the mean? face doesn't matter. Um, yes, if, yes, it's it's about. I mean, the number one thing, the face is good, you know, but not like it's. Um, I mean, it's not a beauty contest. Fashion shows are not beauty contest. You know what I mean, you know. So we're not looking at actually the beauty. It's the physique of the model, you know. But most importantly, those shoulders must be like a hanger. You know the way your clothes sit on a hanger in your wardrobe. So is it the those shoulders? The <laughs> either ways. <whisk. laughs> either ways. Either ways can go. <laughs> I also know that you don't particularly. I'm not. You're not crazy about the models. Uh, you know. Heard, you know. There are some comments that have been, you know, abused to you as one who is not particularly crazy because you've seen too many of them. You're exposed uh, um, to them, and you don't particularly, you know. So for find me, it's, them. it's strictly business. Hmm. Strictly, strictly business, and that is why I mean I don't get impressed. Like I sit on the board of the Ford Ford Supermodel Contest that sees women from about 98 countries. That means I'm on a board that sees one girl that represents each of 98 countries in New York every January. You know? So I see, I mean, I see them. I see them. Apart from all the ones I've seen over, over the years in Nigeria. Do you understand? But around the world, I see all the best girls around the world. You know? But for me, it is strictly, strictly business. It begins on that table, on that runway, on that catwalk, and it ends there. You understand? Okay. Sometimes when I drive, I see a, a beautiful girl. If I, if I have any of my assistants around me, I can say, please give, give that girl your card. You know, talk to that girl and invite that girl to the office. You know, talk to that girl. Sometimes I see, you know, because I am legs in Mojo, it is difficult for me to really stop on the way and approach a girl. But there are some good girls you see, you just cannot stop. You just will have, like, for example, you I was... You stop. No, you just have to. There was once I was... I was driving, it was in Abuja, and I saw an extraordinary girl, but she was with the mom. So I stopped and approached the mom, you know, introduced myself, not with my name, just say what I do, you know, and if you don't mind, who is she? And she said, this is her, her daughter. I said, please, will you, will you be interested? How old is she? She, is like, she was like 16. Will you be interested if she models? And she said, okay, it's not a bad idea. So I just gave my number. You know, and um, they they came later, saw them, you know, and um, that girl, that girl today models in New York. Wow. You know what I mean, models in New York, because there are certain girls you just see, you just cannot let go. You just feel like you don't you don't need to you don't need to waste away. Let's see what we can do with you. But you know, generally in, in Nigeria, the um, opportunities are very limitless. Hmm. You know, and the processes abroad are not easy as well. You know, getting them, getting them to agencies the abroad. Platform. You know, we've had models that have relocated from Nigeria. They are modeling in various places in the world. They have, they've gone back to school. You know what I mean. Hmm. So apart, know, from, yes. apart from the apart from the sizing, size six, size eight, size ten. Yeah. What does it take to be a model? Yes, I, I mean, know height. Yes, height is very factor, important. Yeah. You know, if you are a five, at least a five ten. There are five seven. There are five eight. There are five nine. They're mm -hmm. still okay, but for me, the least should be like 5'10". Okay. Better 5'11", 6". Is that all? I mean, I mean that, um, but you should be, you should not, you should not be big. Mm. Those so sizes, those sizes I spoke frontassi, about. Frontassi, Bacassi and all those things. No, Bacassi know? and uh -huh. Frontassi no work. You don't understand. Okay. You know, most of the times, they want you to be flat front and back. But for me, like I said, either ways, you know, for a, for, for the, for the size 10 and size 12, you know, you must have, I mean, you should be full front and back so that you can carry those clothes well. Hmm. Do you understand that? Yeah. You know, but internationally, global standard, you must be like a size six, size eight self, now manage for internationally skinny, good height, not so much boobs, or I mean, you must be flat front and back for you to meet the international. So what international about hips and all of those no, things? No, uh, that one, you go cut and come out too. You go cut and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you could do that one, but you go, you go, if you really want to model internationally, so those ones. <laughs> you have to trim them, work on them yes. and get yourself uh, Anyhow you want to put do it. together. Let's see, you know, people are watching you and they're like, yeah. ah, this guy young girl, hot <laughs> Not as young as, eh? not, a, not as, not as young as you think. How, how are you? <laughs> Not on national TV now. Why do they do like this? Look at you, they talk my head on national TV. All those young babes, where they, 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 they eye me, how you want to make it be now? <laughs> Yeah, they don't do. yeah, they say I be, be grandpapa waiting. Sugar daddy. Oh. I believe liver those Sugar things. Sugar daddy so. now is the one raining. No? Liver those things. Eh? Sugar daddy is the one raining now. I know I don't believe that one. So you want to remain young forever? 
as, 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 God, 50, as, God, as God wants it. Never reach 50. I don't calculate by yourself now. <laughs> I don't tell you, say, I started all this business when I started at 25 years ago. So calculate like how, how old I be when I start the, when the house will start. I don't tell you, say, before there I was a broadcaster. I'll not forget that one, no. And that was how many eh? years ago? Calculate now. 90 what? You want, you want, you, say, say you want to decalculate my age for national TV. <laughs> 1976 or 90, 1970. I say, make you calculate. I make your audience help you calculate. So you push your arrival. What do you think my age is? Okay. <laughs> we left. Maybe you have got a few more from somewhere now. They put your age now. Then they'll call and say, Mr. Lexi, we think you you forgot to fill your wrong your right age. I think you should come and correct it. So that we don't get no, you into trouble leave, and, and avoid stories that touch. I leave those ones to your imagination. <laughs> Just imagine how old this guy will be, considering all the story we don't talk since he sits down for this place. Maybe. You know, say sometimes now people look at you and uh, uh, your picking age go see you sometimes. You go say, my guy, which kind of thing? You know that kind of thing. Uh -huh. I say, make I leave this thing small so that I leave all you go address me, go check me out where say, this one will be like, wait till this guy die. Yo. This thing look natural. You know that kind of thing. Eh? And I say, make I leave him. With also, age. also with somebody like you, where they think, say, where they try to imagine how old I be on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Bros, you know it's me now. It's, it's we we now. No worry. Eh? At least you are making me speak the worry language. This is something I've never done. This is so unprecedented on this program. Ah, that is good. Now. It's now good to thing, have. Now the same thing you talk, now say worry not the carry last. Yeah, so. I you know say the pigeon English. You get the way you go. You get the way you go speak and read. They go no say no, bros. Everybody where they look you with one eye, gonna brush. Now, so so brush, they come out for their Honestly, mouth. Honestly, you know that kind of thing. And sis. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many kids do you have? I have three kids. Three kids. How uh, old is the first? My first is 16. I have a 16 year old boy. Am I free to say, okay, maybe go? <laughs> 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 you mean you have a 16 year old? Now, so we see him. Uh -uh, I'm one of those things now. This all this, all this, all this great beers now. Now, by play, by play. 16? Of course not. And the last one is how many years? Um, she's eight. Eight? Mm. So you've been doing that business for that long? Uh, of course not. What and it's still long. Are you still expecting another times, one? Uh, waiting. I said the last one at eight. What did they expect again? Uh, uh, it can happen. Uh, uh, no. Accidental discharge or all no, these kind of things. No, in accidental discharge, not reach that one. <laughs> just forget that side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was one time, one, one, you know, they were just talking and they were saying that, ah, uh, Legs, it be like saying no marry you, be like saying no get children. But now you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. One thing I've done over the years is to separate um, my private life from business. My nature, as Legs in Mojo eyes, my nature, I'm a quiet, cool somebody. I don't, uh, no noise, no nothing. It, like I said to people, it's just that the kind of things I do puts me in the media all the time. You understand? If I was not doing what I'm doing, I would have been too quiet. You won't even notice me. Do you understand that? You know, so I'm, I'm very, apart from all this, our TV Raz matters where we did here, so mm. I'm a very, very private and quiet person. You know, outside, you, that is why you cannot read in the papers about family, about what is happening outside, what I do, you know, because it is not necessary. I don't want those type of spotlight. Like I say to a lot of people, that's the impression people have of me, is because I see a lot of beautiful girls all over the world, then, you know, that's, I, I sleep with a lot of girls out. But for me, like I say, it's strictly business. One of my principles, I don't sleep with people I work with. Models, designers, just forget it. And it's not gay. You know, I, I, you know, at some point, because people will not, because in the industry, a lot of people, they, they, they don't read about me, like models will not come from nowhere to say, this guy slept with me, this guy toasted me, this guy did this. So the impression people will not have is that this guy looks like, like gay. If he deals with a lot of models, beautiful girls, and he's not, and he's not hitting on them or anything exactly, like that. then there's a problem with this guy. This guy must be gay. And I must tell you, there are people that have approached me, guys that have approached me, thinking that I'm gay and asking me out. Are you understanding? Yeah. And I laugh. <laughs> you know, there are sometimes in a lighter mood, I'll just say, like, uh, my guy, I marry and I get kids. <laughs> you, you understand that? You know, so that says, what that says to, that what that tells a lot of people is just being very professional. Because that's the only way you can last in a business. Just like you selling candies and you're the one consuming all the candies. Mm. That's the way it is. You know, because there's no way people will respect you. I mean, for me, all my designers I work with, all my models I work with, everywhere I work with, I'm Mr. Lexi to them. I'm not just Lexi, I'm Mr. Lexi. That means, you know, a level of respect. You know, and you can't, there's no way you, I mean, it's one of the, one of my principles. 
you know, and that is why even after, usually after our shows and there are all the parties, you don't even see me in the parties. Most of the time I organize the parties, I tell guys, so I, they organize the parties where to enjoy. But as soon as the shows are over, I'm sleeping. No, those extra life, hanging out with this babe, that babe. You know, you know what I mean. So how do you spend you know, your so past time? I work. Oh, you can't work 24-7 now. How about you won't die? Take care. Wait, wait to be your problem. As I work, <laughs> Shana, you say, see as I trim, see as I do this thing. Eh? Well, there are sometimes I sit out. on my... There's a difference between working and working out. All of the above. Working and working out. Mm, I'll give you an example. Yesterday, when I woke up, you know, on the bed, with my laptop, my phones, eh? my iPad on the bed. When I woke up at about seven to respond to a lot of mails and attend to a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff and stuff and stuff. Because at the end of the day, when you think, I have like, I like, have over like 50 countries almost on a daily basis I'm in touch with for one thing or another. Mm. So you really do not have those time. On the bed, you know, I had breakfast in bed, for example, and I was on the bed till like 3 p.m. Do you understand? Yesterday was off office. I was not in the office. I was working from home. You know, 3 p.m. was when I had my bath and everything and had lunch. And I now sat in the sitting room. And I continued till like 10 p.m. I'm just giving you an example of the kind of things I do. You know, the thing is you just see yourself responding to things, getting back to people, doing a lot of stuff, and the time is running. Sometimes I look at my time and the days are not enough for me to do the Maybe things say, I want oh, to work do. And no play now. When I travel, let me tell you the one of the things I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wherever I travel to around, some of the times when I travel, trips are paid by the World Fashion Organization. Okay. That means most of the time I fly business On class paid. or first class. Two, I stay in five star hotels, sometimes six star hotels, with swimming pool, with sauna, with everything you can imagine. Okay. Do you understand? So in those times I'm walking, I'm relaxing. There are some times I just take time out. One week, I go to, for, for, I give you an example, you know, not one week, three, four days. I go to Sicily, for example, the seaside. Mm. That's um, in Italy, you know, and I just chill for like three days. No work, no she nothing. Just shut down. Exactly. That's do you understand? That's a good one. You know, so most of the time, Seth, I do not see like those holidays as being important because more of the times I'm like, well, I'm, well, a, I'm always traveling mm. more of the times. Okay, the last one year, no, in the last, in fact, the last three years, I've been more abroad than in Nigeria. Mm. The last three years, do you understand? Okay. You know, so every time of all, all those times, more of those times, I stay in hotels around the world. And you enjoy all the facilities there. Everything. So it's like you are continuously on holidays. Meet all the nice people, go to good parties, hang out with friends, but do your work. You know what I mean? Walk out, sound now. All of that. <laughs> okay. A lot What's of your greatest fear? My greatest fear, do I have any? Do I have any? You know, because we, around me, I do not believe in things happening around me by mistake. I plan everything I do, you know. That is why I'm a tomorrow special, like I keep saying to people. I'm not in a hurry. Like, a lot of people think this guy is a multi-millionaire or something. No, I'm not, I'm not rich. I'm just contented. Do you understand? So that is why I do not nurse that type of fear. I do, I do not have any fear because I try to plan for my today and plan for my tomorrow. That, that goes al along with people around me as well. Do you understand? So fear, I do, not, I do not say anything I fear because I try to plan. I try to anticipate those things that will not work well for me tomorrow. I try to plan for them as I go along. I try to influence. I mean, by the, it's by the grace of God, but I try to plan. Do you understand? So mm. I, do not, I do not actually nurse any like fear. You know, I just look at those things are not working out. I go back to the drawing board, turn them around, and I try to pu pull them out again. You know, so greatest fear, I don't think I have any. You don't have any. Mm. Mm, so you're fetish? No, I'm not. I'm the, I'm the wrong person. I'm not fetish. I say you're fetish. Something you like that, you know, you can't do without. Um, what is that? There's nothing I can't do without. The way I see, the way I see these things, uh, look at it. It, it goes back to my principle in life or the kind of person I am. You understand? I strongly, you know, believe that any way things come, just like my name, my son name, Mojo Eyes means no matter how bad life is for a man, I'm really a good interpretation of my name. No matter how bad, for example, you are, you, 
you it things become so bad for you as a man or a woman. My name says you cannot go below the surface of the earth. You always find a place to pick the pieces of those things that are not working for you together. That's what my name says. So having said that, that's the way that I don't know. Naturally, that's the way I am. Do you understand? Mm. If, for example, my business is not working today, so be oh. it. I try my best. I work like 120% to make sure things work out well. But by the end of the day, it's not working out the way I planned it. I just know that's the way God wants it to be. So if it wasn't fashion, Say if it wasn't fashion, if it wasn't fashion, what would you have done? Maybe I would have been, I would have been a pilot, an astronaut. Yes, yeah. Not even broadcasting, or your first love. No, my first, I mean, when I was growing up, it's just that one of the things I say to people, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a, 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 an astronaut and a pilot. If I was in America, I'm sure I would have been an astronaut, sincerely. Because I know there's nothing I want to do that I don't, I don't, I don't get to the top. Mm. Anything I want to do, I get to the top. I don't think about second best or somebody. I don't, be, I don't. Even if somebody is there, what I want to do, I want to be able to surpass. Not because I want to compete. I don't compete. Do you understand? Yeah. If, for example, I want to come into broadcasting, for example, you know, I want to go to, I want to go to set a standard for myself. Not looking at anybody. Are you understand? I'm that kind of person. So if I was not into what I am, I am. If I was when I was young, probably if I had been in America, I'm sure that dream. It is because it was not possible for it to be possible. It was not possible in Nigeria. That's why I didn't get there. I didn't get there. You know, yeah. Now on a final note, let's see. You've done so much for the fashion world already. You've done so much for modeling, for everything that has to do with beauty. Yes. We know you for that. What do you want to be remembered for? What would you like to be remembered for? Okay, a lot of the things I want to be remembered for, apart from all the things God has made us to achieve, you know, some of the things I want to be remembered for, I've not really gotten there. Do you understand? Yes, I want to be remembered as that guy that got into the industry and reoriented the industry, made people see fashion in a different light, and created a lot of platforms and avenues for people to, for people to, to be self-employed, you know, for people to have platforms to be able to take their life to another level. You know, I want to be remembered for that. But having said that, the things I really want to do, because we've not been able to take the level in fashion I want to get to, we've not gotten there at all. You know, because what I want to be remembered for, 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 for that, we need to get to the level we want to get to in fashion. Because that will help the next level. And the next level is really empowering. Empowering those, um, um, how would I say it? Those people that are helpless, those people that are not, uh, do not have any advantage. I want to go to get to the streets and pick a young boy, a young kid, for example, that is hopeless and make that person somebody. Are you understanding? Because yeah. the difference between that kid that's on the street and your kid in your house is just opportunity. That this one, I mean, the one in your house, house has the opportunity of you being ta made. taking care of their needs, but the one on the street does not. So one of the areas I want to concentrate on, I, I, I have always thought of, are those kids that really do not have hope. You know, take them from not having hope to being to being people that will make a difference in society. You know, but I know for me to go to successfully do that because that will entail a lot of money. We need to go to get to where we want to get to with what we do today. Because what we do today for us, that's why I say to people as well, what we do, to do today for us, it's not about the business really, it's about passion. That is why a lot of people come to this industry and because they think we make so much money, they come in and they see and everybody they take off again. Do you understand? Because for us, it's not about money, it's not about the business, it's about passion. Hmm. So that when there's money, there's no money, we are here, there's nothing else we want to do. No shaking. You know what I mean. <laughs> we just enjoy doing what we are doing, we just enjoy it. Okay, so that's work in progress. Yes, that you, is right. Obviously, you're futuristic and yes. your future, you're looking ahead all the time. All the time, yes. I will be looking ahead of you, you follow, as well. Yes. We'll be following, following you as following, you go. Yes, I trust you Not now. on Twitter or all the other I following, trust, you know. I trust my sister. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a pleasure having you. Thank that you so much for